Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm proud to say that we have our very first laser engraver from the company named Longer. They've been around for quite a while now, so if you don't know who they are, definitely check them out with the links in the description below. But they went ahead and sent us their Nano Pro that came out last year here. Um, it is a very small laser, as you can see, and I just went with the basic model, but there are some accessories such as the slide extension or the rotary tool. Um, that you can get for this if you want to. So we're gonna talk about that here in just a second as well. Um, if you haven't heard of Longer uh, before, I definitely recommend that you check them out in the links down below. Um, the most comparable machines that this is probably close to in the same like price range is probably the LP4 from Laser Pecker or the um, F1 or F1 Lite from Xtool. Um, but don't let the size of this thing fool you. This thing is packing some serious power with a 12 watt diode in it. Um, so that's more, uh, more power than both of those mach other machines that we mentioned. And we're gonna get into all the specs and features here, but first let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Uh, don't blink, we're gonna have it unboxed. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we now have the Nano Pro unboxed. This is what the actual box looks like within that brown box that you've seen earlier. Um, it is extremely well packaged in here. I think you get the uh, gist of that already. Foam inserts all the way around all of this. So all of this that you see here was packed into that tiny little box um, like Lego pieces. Very well packaged, very impressive. I always, I always enjoy a good um, unboxing experience. This one is two thumbs up from me. Um, next up, we have the actual laser head here. So um, this should be technically ready to go right out of the box, but in, if you wanna get really picky about it, you do have to put this screw into here, and that's pretty much all the setup other than plugging in the little parts and pieces, and then you should be good to go. Um, there are three different types of software with this machine too that you can use. So you can use uh, laser GRBL, um, you've seen that previously on this channel, um, or light burn, which you've also seen previously on this channel as well. And then they also have their own application from the App Store, which is called Laser Burn. So if I can get Laser Burn to work, I'm gonna be using that in this video, just because I always like to use the company's portable laser software with the portable machines because I wanna be out in the world with my cell phone and then be able to move this around and then hit start. This little machine is gonna be my coaster machine. <laughs> I'm gonna be dedicating this strictly for coasters. That's why I chose the basic unit. I didn't need really long slide extensions, which we're gonna talk about here in just a second. Um, as far as everything else that comes with this, you get the power brick itself, the stand unit that I kinda already showed you that we have to attach the laser head to you get these cool little glasses that you get with most laser engravers here. Um, you have a manual focus uh, ruler here, so just a piece of wood uh, that is a ruler. And then you have the um, extra like spare parts here, it's a little Allen wrench and two screws. Um, you have a cleaning cloth here for your, uh, your actual goggles. And then you have a little USB to uh, SD or TF card adapter here, you can plug that into the and use that as well. Um, and then you have the actual accessories. So it comes with some accessories here. It comes with uh, some cardboard, some wood, and the little metal uh, business cards here that you've seen me engrave pretty much on every machine uh, so far that I've reviewed. We're probably gonna do that on this one too, as well as coasters, because like I said, this is gonna be my little coaster machine. <laughs> um, and then you have the actual uh, like, safety enclosure here which will attach to the bottom of this once you have it on here and then you have the actual uh, cables and plugs that will go from the back of the unit into your computer or your accessories that i mentioned and last but not least of course you're going to have the little pamphlet that tells you how to set up your software that i mentioned earlier um, it's going to show you how to put it together everything that comes with it that i already described to you guys I think you get the gist of that. Um, other than that, let's go ahead, assemble this thing, and then we're gonna start rocking some coasters, uh, these little metal business cards, show you engraving. Um, one other thing that this thing can do as well is since it is a 12 watt, you can go ahead and cut different materials. You can cut something like this, or this, 
or even this with like the slide extension. Um, just keep in mind when you use that slide extension um, with larger files, you're gonna have to break those files up so they all fit within that slide extension tool itself. So with that said, let's go ahead and assemble this. We're gonna talk about the uh, features and then we'll get into some engraving. All right, guys, so quickly I wanted to share with you the two accessories that I've been mentioning throughout the video before we get into engraving here. First up is the slide extension tool. This is going to increase your max workspace of 100 by 300 millimeters here. So you'll be able to do larger projects like I showed you earlier, but keep in mind if those projects are too large to fit on one display within that work size, you'll have to break it up into pieces. As long as those pieces are smaller than 100 by 300 millimeters, you'll be able to cut those out. So if you're looking to do larger projects, definitely get the slide extension tool here. Next up, we have the rotary engraving extension. Um, what this does is it allows you to do cups or tumblers um, or even baseball bats if you have a good way to stabilize those. So if you're looking into doing like round items or cylindrical items, definitely get the rotary extension as well. Um, as mentioned, this is the Pro version of the Nano Pro, and this is the 12 watt model, which allows you to cut up to 10 millimeters thick of wood. Um, and it's gonna be a 20% more powerful than like some of the other competitors that they mentioned throughout this video here. The thing that I love about this little machine is how portable it is. And if you can see here, it has this like rotation mode that can lock it in place. So you can actually engrave at an angle and you can kind of bring this machine anywhere with you um, and is super lightweight compared to some of these other examples that they've shared as well. So as you can see, they kind of compare this to the F1 where you got to hold the machine versus where this one, you don't have to hold the machine at all. It'll just stay locked into place for you. So that's a super cool little feature that's kind of built in. Next up, let's talk about the speed and accuracy of this machine. So the speed is extremely fast. It is 5,000 millimeters per second, making it probably the fastest machine that I know of on a portable uh, laser engraver here. So uh, this is a Galvo system, which uses like a tiny mirror inside to go back and forth. It's extremely fast. I'm gonna show you some engraving examples that they shared here. And then we're gonna get into our own engravings towards the end of the video here. We're almost done with all the specs here. I just wanted to let you guys know everything that was involved with this machine. Speaking of speed, we're gonna be talking about the accuracy with that speed. So the accuracy of this is 0.01 by 0.01 .01 millimeters of precision, making this even more accurate than like the laser pecker machine that we've mentioned earlier which is gonna leave you with undistorted edges and a clear like design every single time. So this is gonna be really high precision in this small little area that this can engrave. So with all that said, I think we covered pretty much everything. Here is a quick uh, snapshot of their comparison of their six watt model and this 12 watt model compared to other lasers out there. So you can kind of get a comparison. You can pause the video here if you wanna read over all of these. Uh, but we covered most of this already. So with that said, let's go ahead and engrave our own designs here. All right, you guys, so two things really quick. I wanted to share with you that I'm using the laser burn software from Longer here, uh, right on my iPad. And as you can see, I'm using my logo from my second channel, Midlife Chaos. And uh, the thing that I like about this is you can connect right to Wi-Fi from the machine itself. You don't need your own Wi-Fi source. So you can take this anywhere. The one thing that I don't like is on dark colored material, the framing feature is extremely hard to see even at 100% power like this. But the good news is, is if you have like a lighter color material, it's really bright and it works well. So if we're gonna be doing wood, that's great. If we're gonna be doing darker objects, that's not so great. And then if you put the little plastic shield in front of it, it completely disappears on black objects. So just keep that in mind. This is gonna be our first test here and we're gonna see what this does. So let's go ahead and start this for you. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we're done and there is a lot of laser dust on this. So I'm gonna wipe this off using a little magic eraser here and we're gonna see what it looks like in the end results. And I'll take my goggles off so I can see it. So as you can see, now that I wiped that off, I need to dry it, but 
super clean, crisp edges here. I need to invert this obviously, but I don't have the uh, image laid out for an inversion quite yet. So I'll have to set up that image for an inversion overall. Super qu clear quality, um, great results there. Just remember to wipe off that laser dust if you're doing the black metal business cards. I just used the preset settings that were with the machine for this. Um, I think there could be better settings to get it a little bit quicker. Um, but overall, this is a great result here. All right, you guys, now that you've seen all the different types of materials this can engrave, it does a great job with the preset settings. I'm probably gonna have to tweak some of these settings to my liking so it goes a little bit quicker, but overall, um, they did do a good job with their preset settings. There's the wood, here's that metal business card here, and then we have our two little coasters here that we did, um, so you can see those as well. But I've definitely got some uh, work to kind of tweak these settings to my liking. But overall, this is a great little machine. If you want to pick it up, definitely check it out in the link down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.